Hi everyone, welcome to another cosplay tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up cosplay to automatically refill a sewing machine if it runs out of seeds or fertilizer. For today's video, we'll be working on field number 14 on Sosnovka. Now let's start off by setting up a course for seeding field number 14. Let's open the cosplay hut by clicking the right mouse button. In here, we want to be in the fertilize and seeding mode seeding mode which is this button here by clicking that one we activate the course generation button in the course generation we want to select field number 14 which we do by clicking this arrow here that suggests the fields that we currently own and not more than what we currently own so let's get back to field number 14 and the working width of the machinery behind us is 3 meters. We can verify that by clicking the calculator and that will show us a red line back here that indicates the width of the machinery. Now I like to have the width, the working width, just a tiny bit smaller than what is actually suggested so I have a little bit of overlap. I do that just in case the worker misses anything. So I'm going to put this, this one down to 2.9 meters. And that switches the working with mode into manual. So the next thing we want to suggest or the next thing we want to select is the starting corner of the field. Let's bring up the minimap. Here we go. The corner we want to start in is the corner right in front of us which is the southernmost western corner of the field. Now remember we have north up here, we have east over here, we have south down here and we have west over here. So the southernmost western corner so let's choose that southwest and we want to be heading north so here we go let's put the minimap back in its original position for this course we definitely want it to return to the first point i'll get into that a little bit later so we're going to activate return to first point we don't need any headlands because well we have plenty of room to turn around outside of the field so let's set up the course place so we can actually turn outside of the field Let's deactivate turn on field. Here we go. Now the tractor will drive out of the field, turn around and drive back into the field. We have plenty of room to do that and it is a little bit faster than actually turning on the field. So we're basically done with setting up the seeding course for field 14 now. So let's go ahead and generate the course. And we can tell immediately that we are going to start right there. So let's save the course as well. And we're going to call it field 14 seeding, wow, 3 meters. There we go. And return to save course. There we go. So if we go into the manage courses, we have the field 14 seeding 3 meters right there. So let's make a folder for the field 14. Here we go and we can move this course into the field 14 folder. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to set up a course so Courseplay knows where to go when the sewing machine is out of seeds. We want it to return down there, back to the silos back there to get refilled. And to do that, we need to tell Courseplay how to go there. So let's clear this course here and start up the engine of the tractor. And we are going to record a course going down there. So we know that the, that the course plate tractor will return to this point here when it's run out of seeds. So we want the refill course to start just about here. Now, when you are recording a course like this, it is important to have the first three waypoints in the course in a relatively straight line. It doesn't have to be 100% straight, but do try to keep it a relatively straight line. So you have the first waypoint right here. Let's go record this course. Second waypoint. And the third, and we can turn a lot sharper now. And let's go by the refill point. Now do make sure to leave enough room so if you have bigger equipment coming on later on, you can reuse this course. And all I did was drive by 
the refill point and it detected it. You can see that the cover of the cedar has been removed and it means that it has detected there's a refill point there. And we are going to return to the first point here. Now you want to stop the course relatively close to the starting point, like so. Well, let's stop that recording there. So now we have a course for refilling. Let's save this course and call it Field 14. Seeding Refill. Here we go. And let's save it into the Field 14 folder up here. There we go. Alright, so now we have both of the courses ready for what we are supposed to do here. So we have to start out by telling the tractor it needs to start with seeding and then it has to start, or then it has to go over to refilling. So let's clear the courses right now and load the seeding course, which is ready there. And let's load the seeding refill. Now notice how you now have both of the courses. You have the seeding course for the field and you have the refill course for outside of the field. But the tractor knows that it has to start with the seeding course. So let's say start with first waypoint. Uh, we're going to put the cover back on. So here we go. Let's drive the course. And he's up. Now, within a relatively short time, he's going to run out of seeds. So I'm going to skip ahead to when that is happening. Okay, so we're coming up to an almost empty sewing machine now. Let's just follow the worker here as she is turning around. And heading back into the field. So as you can see, we've got plenty of room for turning around outside of the field here. So apparently she has 9 litres of seeds left. 8 litres. And counting down. And we're just about done now. There we go. Now, course play will recognize an empty sewing machine as if it is done with the seeding course. So it's going to return to the first point of the seeding course that we set up on the field here. And when it returns to that point, it's going to pick up the refilling course and remember, oh wait, I have to go in this course here. So here we go, it's picked up the seeding or the refill course and it's now driving here. And it's going to drive by the refill point and it's going to detect the trigger and it's going to refill. There we go. Now this particular seeder doesn't have a, uh, a fill point for fertilizer, so it doesn't refill any of that. But I did drive past the fertilized trigger as well, so if you have a sewing machine that has the room for fertilization as well, it will refill that as well. So now he's going to go back, or she's going to go back to the seeding course, which is which she's going to pick up from just about here, and she's going to return to where she were on the seeding course. So the refill course is over, and she has returned to the seeding course, and now she's going to go back to where she ran out of seeds. Here we go, and she's going to continue straight on here. So that is how you set up a automatic refill sewing machine. I hope you liked this video and I hope you learned something. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.